This is not your typical machine gun. This is the machine gun. It has held up very well over time. This weapon has shown to be a reliable and effective means of destruction in battle in Afghanistan, Iraq, and now Ukraine. This weapon can shoot up to 950 rounds per minute, which can blast a wall of lead and cause havoc on the receiver. This weapon fires 7.62 millimeter rounds, which are renowned for their excellent stopping power and strong penetration in close quarters combat situations. Additionally, it has a strong battle record because all of the soldiers who use it are confident with it. Today on Achievements, we'll look at the M240 machine gun. The M240 is a US-made variation of the FN mag, a general-purpose machine gun developed in Belgium and one of the most widely used and deadly weapons in the world. The trigger mechanisms, quick change barrel, and spring-loaded dust cover of the MAD were all reminiscent of the German MG42 from World War II, while the majority of the weapon's design was based on the Browning Model 1918 bar. Despite sharing DNA with the venerable bar, the FMG has dominated the Western Bloc machine gun market since its release in 1957. Ironically, two decades ago, this weapon was first rejected over in favor of the US-made M60, the M60 was replaced by the M240, a US-built variant of the MG42. The M240 was introduced to the US Army in 1977 as a coaxial tank gun. In the 1980s and 1990s, it gradually found more uses after being adopted by the US Navy, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard despite sharing many of the same fundamental characteristics. Similar to its predecessor, the M240's durability leads to greater reliability when compared to the M60. Although the M240's gas system is technically more complicated than the M60's, it offers higher reliability and requires less maintenance overall. Compared to modern machine guns, the M240 is bigger and heavier. It weighs more than 30 pounds when equipped with a starting belt and extras like optics. Even the smaller M240 Lima, a lighter version of M240, which has a short barrel and weighs around 21.8 pounds, ammunition is fed into the upper left side of the weapon by a belt. The M240 will take connected belts with disintegrating or non-disintegrating links. These belts normally come in boxes or pouches and range in length from 50 to 250 rounds. The most popular belts are 50 round belts, which can be connected end to end. It is a weapon for selective fire and cannot shoot a single shot. The fire selector allows users to choose between firing at a rate of 750, 850, or 950 rounds per minute. However, the fire rate is only changed when fouling causes the weapon to operate slowly and there isn't enough time to thoroughly clean the weapon. The M240 is said to be the world's most reliable machine gun. According to several sources, it was able to fire an astounding 26,000 rounds between malfunctions during testing in the 1990s. This reliability was further demonstrated in a torture test of the M240B in 2013. Even though the weapon fired 15,000 rounds at its cycle rate of fire, there was no loss of accuracy after that. It had successfully fired more than 32,000 rounds by the time the 2013 test came to an end. The M240's effective range is 880 yards with a bipod and 1980 yards with a tripod. The weapon's greatest effective range is 4,074 yards and uses 7.62 millimeter bullets. The soldiers prefer high stopping and pennant rating power. The US M240 machine guns have undergone numerous improvements throughout the years by adding different modification kits. The M240 machine gun 6.8x51 mm conversion kit is needed to convert the 7.62x51 mm NATO chambered for M240B and M240L variant as of March 2022. The 6.8x51 mm ammunition will be fired by general purpose machine guns. The M240 comes in various variants for the different branches of the military, like the M240B, which is also known as the M240 Bravo. 
It served as a standard medium machine gun of the U.S. Marine Corps, U.S. Navy, the Coast Guard, and some units in the U.S. Army. The M60E4 was pitted against the M240E4 formerly known as the M240B in the Army trials during the 1990s for a new infantry machine gun in a competition to replace the decades-old M60s. The M240E4 won and was then classified as the M240B. This led to thousands of existing M240s being sent to FN for an overhaul and a special kit that modified them for use on ground such as a stock and a rail. This led to procurement contracts in the late 1990s for the all-new M240B. Later the M240D is an upgrade of the M240B was introduced, primarily in the addition of an optical rail on the receiver cover. Also later on, the M240H is an improvement of the M240D. The M240H features a rail-equipped feed cover, an improved flash suppressor, and has been configured so that it can be more quickly converted to infantry standard using an egress kit. And of the latest, the M240 Lima, formerly the M240E6, is the product of the M240B weight reduction program, which reduces the weight of the existing M240B by 5.5 pounds. To achieve 18% weight reduction, the M240L incorporates titanium construction and alternative manufacturing methods for fabricating major components. The resulting improvements reduce the soldier's combat load while allowing easier handling and movement of the weapon. The M240 has been battle-tested. It has been used since the Cold War, especially in the invasion of Grenada in the north of Venezuela by the U.S. in 1983 codenamed Operation Urgent Fury. The M240 has shown its capabilities in many modern war, combat and rescue missions like the Battle of Kamdesh during the war in Afghanistan. It occurred on October 3, 2009, when a force of 400 Taliban assaulted the American combat outpost or COP near the town of Kamdesh in Nuristan province in eastern Afghanistan. The attack was the bloodiest battle for U.S. forces since the Battle of Wainit in July 2008 which occurred 20 miles away from Kamdesh. The attack on Kop Keating resulted in eight Americans killed and 27 wounded, while the Taliban suffered an estimated 150 killed. And the rescue operation in Benghazi, Libya, where the attack was coordinated against two United States government facilities by an Islamic militant group, resulting in the deaths of both United States Ambassador to Libya and U.S. Foreign Service Information Management Officer. Later, just after midnight, the CINX came under machine gun, rocket, and mortar fire. A group of private military contractors and CIA defenders in the compound held off the attack until morning, till the evacuation team arrived. The battle was ferocious. There were a lot of casualties on both sides. With various weapons, the M240 was heavily used in their arsenal which shows its capability, reliability, and trust among the troops. The M240 is compared against the Russian PKM, which is a shorter, simpler, cheaper, and lighter machine gun compared to the M240, which makes it much easier for soldiers to move and change positions during the heat of war. It can use a more powerful 7.62 by 54 mm round compared to M240 but M240 has a higher fire rate and range of fire which much more complements the military war doctrine adopted by the US and NATO nations. The US and NATO's military doctrine is much more squad focused where each squad member has a specific purpose and supports one another. Compared to its adversary, the PKM is used more as an individual role in its military which time and time again has proven that the U.S. military doctrine to be much superior compared to its adversaries. The M204 machine gun is used by various militaries worldwide. Coming from many on-ground troops, they praise its reliability and its firepower, and do its magnificent performance, durability, and compatibility in various scenarios of the military like it can be mounted on ground vehicles can be used on the ground, and from the long history of machine guns, 
we can very well say it has done pretty good. And due to its reputation, it will be serving in the U.S. military force for a long time to come. Hope you liked the video. Please like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. Till then, see you again.